experiences vary, but at least when I first saw the sine, cosine, and tangent defined, they weren't defined in terms of circles, but rather triangles. We're not going to use right triangle trigonometry much in this course. I know, remember it shows up occasionally in calculus too, but let's briefly review it. Let's say we have a right triangle and theta is one of the non-right angles on the triangle. This restriction that theta is between 0 and pi over 2 is just saying that theta is an acute angle. That has to be true. Let's label the sides of this triangle. We'll call this side the opposite side because here's the angle and opposite of it is this side of the triangle. The adjacent side and then right triangles have hypotenuses or however, whatever the plural is. So we'll label this the hypotenuse. The sine of theta, it turns out, is going to be the ratio of two sides. It's going to be the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And the cosine of theta is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of theta is the opposite side over the adjacent side. And the memory aid that I used way back in high school some old horse, catch another horse, take oats away. You can define the other three trig functions in terms of the um, right triangle. We don't normally do that and there is no clever memory aid for it. The secant is the reciprocal of the cosine. So we flip these. Hypotenuse over adjacent. The cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine. The cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent.